Come, Mr. Surgeon, no. cut away the excess. Hey, oh, come and we want to go home. Moyle, come. Oh, it's <laughs> Moyle. Moyle. <laughs> Snip away the excess. Moyle, come and we want to go home. Ouch! Ouch! I'm at the least spot. She's so excited. The star of our show, here's Ms. Bobby! Hold it, hold it. What's the problem? It's Betty. I said, Bobby, it was something that happened last night. I'm sorry. Speaking of white people, yes, let's talk about this white little people. Jose E. Bear thing you're doing with this hair. Well, are we going to talk about this? Okay, let me say something. Wait, hold me back. Let me what? tell you what I'm using what in my hair now. What? I'm using a combination of sperm and mousse. What's it called? I should have waited. I and call it is called? Spoose. <laughs> okay. It okay. Gives, it gives it the... <laughs> My sir. Okay. How do you apply it? All right. You know, hey, look. I have never... I'm Rebel Foreskin. <laughs> Get back to the intro. <laughs> this is going to seem spontaneous, isn't it? <laughs> Go ahead. You can get it out. Just get it out. I feel I'm like okay now. I feel like Father Marin is a, a comedy assist. Out. Get it out. Eat me. Out. Eat me. Get it out. Uh, out. Uh, out. Uh, get it out. Uh, well, <laughs> I am glad to be here. Well, wow, look. Can you tell what religion I am? <laughs> Of your anus, twin cheeks coming to a theater near you. Oh, shit. See? My God, whose watch is this? <laughs> Are you wearing opera gloves? I mean, what, what's this thing? Oh, look, Darwin was wrong. <laughs> All right. Sorry. No, go ahead. This is so much cheaper than therapy. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Okay, we're back. We're here. A reverse Oreo. <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, by the time a child... Who you call it, nigger? Oops. <laughs> I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> 
That's my name. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarz, Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Hello, I'm Schwarzenegger. What does that mean? That's redundant. What is that saying there? Hello. My name is Arnold. Be careful, boy. Careful. <laughs> Maria, let's go to the White House. <laughs> Do you remember? One day we're going to have a candidate that, that no one will fuck with. That woman you scared to death. Do you remember Maurice that interview? Maurice with Maria Shriver. Oh, <laughs> perfect. CBS Morning News. OK, can I do the intro now? Go ahead, it's there. All right, here we go. With dignity with and dignity with class. And all that we can muster. OK. Good luck. <laughs> Come on now, I want you to squeal like a fax machine. <laughs> Sorry. It's the musical of deliverance. <laughs> Squeal like you know me. Squeal yeah, like you know. Oh, you're so nasty. Oh, it's incredible. I also was I was in the road company of Deliverance. We had a thing like Squeal like you know me. Squeal like you know oh, me. Oh God. <laughs>
So I, you guys, Billy and Robin, you guys are best friends, I hear, so if, even if we weren't... <laughs> <laughs> it's Hollywood, welcome! <laughs> so even if we weren't here in the improv today, would you guys be hanging out together d somewhere? Doing something? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. North says he possibly would. <laughs> he feels that he would hang out if we can use that word, Senator. <laughs> if anybody could hang out, Ollie could. Um... <laughs> well, Billy says since it's Saturday, we'd be home making knishes. <laughs> God bless Gage of Hindle Heaven. <laughs> Sitting down, oh God, in some trace. Never. Now, did you see my lips move once? <laughs> once. <clears throat> You know, you look, you look like Trotsky on acid. Look at you. <laughs> nice to be in Mexico. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason for our five second delay. Stop it. What are you doing? You can't do that. Stop it. It's a five second delay. Yes. Look at us, a San Francisco wedding cake. <laughs> Best man. I hope so. Raoul. Griff Kimmen, Hebe Shebe, like a Zibben Hager. I'm coming back to you. <laughs> <laughs> now, you now. Oh, wait, the Jewish Kung Fu movie. What? <laughs> I can't tell you right now, that's been on sale for about a week. Kick your ass, but first, I'm gonna sue. <laughs> I can't keep doing this. Damn it. I, your master's no good. <laughs> My master can cook an incredible piece of fish. <laughs> but what about the flesh dicky <laughs> Now forget it, go away, get a job, get out of my face. <laughs> and now, the introduction from hell. We had such a wonderful relationship that I look back and it makes me laugh and smile. We had phone calls, Bill, that went on for hours sometimes that were just absolutely hilarious. And my, my one big regret was that we had planned to make an album together mm. of these phone calls. It was also like a Derek and Clive kind of sure. thing where we could go blue and dark and, and strange. So one day, and this will be quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching Ronald Reagan's funeral on television. Ah. Oh. Phone rings. I see it's 415, it's San Francisco. It's him. So, hello? This is what I hear. Oh, Bill? Hi. This is Ron Reagan. I just <laughs> wanted to tell you that everything's okay in heaven. I said, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mr. President, I'm watching your funeral and you're in the box. Oh, no, that's not me. That's my stuntman. <laughs> He does everything for me. Did all the football in that in that in that Gipper movie that I did. And what, what, sir, let me ask you this: What is, what's heaven like? 
people want to know what's it like. Well, it's a lot hotter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> So I said, so. Uh, hotter, so you may not be in heaven. Oh, South America, is that where I am? I said, no. <laughs> Sir, listen to me. If you're passed on and you think you're in heaven, but it's hotter, you may be in the other place. <laughs> he says, oh, that would explain why Nixon's balls are resting on the bridge of my nose. Uh, <laughs> well, we don't have him, but we have you to channel him. Oh, he, he had... Uh, you know, it's the greatest, the greatest mind I've ever been around because it was so f terrifyingly fast. Yeah. It was like, you know, on stage with him when we did all his comic reliefs and all these other things we did in clubs and Jimmy, our phone calls were amazing late at night, uh. hours. We were like, you know, we always felt when we finished, we'd we like two jazz musicians who just got new horns, you know? <laughs> yeah, just, and, just exhausted. Um, and then you never knew who you who had just hung up on. Who was that? Because yeah, he had called us some new guy, and, <laughs> and it was just like and hilarious. You just travel and just end up where you end up. Yeah. And, and improvise and have fun. Like and, he, and he had, pardon me, he had the biggest set of balls ever on a stage. <laughs> on a stage. He did, right? And he was fearless and. Um, you know, that was what I loved about him so much, he, and his commitment to the comedy was astounding. And we were in Boston. It was 1988. It was like the second comic relief. And we're at the State Building with Michael Dukakis, who was the Democratic nominee yeah. to run against George Bush Sr., yeah. right? And Mr. Dukakis was a very genteel, not a large man, very quiet, professional, uh, pre pre professorial type guy. Yeah. And um, very conservative, and, and uh, we made our speeches, and um, we were funny. Whoopi, Robin, and I were, you know, pretty funny. And then Mr. Dukakis said something about Robin being out in the universe up there, you know, right near Uranus. Well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Does he know who he's playing with? That's all, that's all he had to hear. <laughs> oh, my God! So... He went off on your anus, my anus, yeah. our anuses. Oh my God, whose anus is it? Oh and and Dukakis looked at him and just went, This isn't HBO. Wow. So he continued his speech, and Robin stands next to me. And as Dukakis is droning on, Robin says, No way this mother wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, as genius as he was on stage, he was the greatest friend you could ever imagine. Supportive, protective, loving. It's very hard to talk about him in the past because he was so present in all of our lives. For almost 40 years, he was the brightest star in a comedy galaxy. But while well, some of the brightest of our celestial bodies are actually extinct now, their energy long since cooled, but miraculously, because they float in the heavens so far away from us now, their beautiful light will continue to shine on us forever. And the glow will be so bright, it'll warm your heart, it'll make your eyes glisten, and you'll think to yourselves, Robin Williams, what a concept. And yet, look, vile fool, come thee hither. No! <laughs> Thou hast forced me to wear designer jeans for no reason. <laughs> I will walk now, and cameraman shall go, where's he going now? <laughs> Where am I now? Let me borrow your little shawl. We've never met before, have we? <laughs> I came to Bombay last year. I would like to welcome you to Iran. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> God gives, you know, it gives you a penis and a brain. <laughs> and only enough blood to run one at a time. <laughs> there are times my son looks at me, gives me that look in the eyes like, Well, what's it gonna be? I don't know, but maybe along the way, 
You take my hand, tell a few jokes, and have some fun. Come on, pal. You're not afraid, are you? Nah. I want to thank my father up there, the man who, uh, when I said I wanted to be an actor, he said, wonderful, just have a backup profession like welding. <laughs> thank you. God bless you. You're just gonna dance? I just feel it, ready? Okay, and happiness, action. March 18th on HBO. The biggest comedy event of the year. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, geez. Light a match. Ooh. Look at that one. It's a benefit for America's homeless. I'm leaving. Three, Three straight, straight hours. hours. Nine, 9 p.m. live. March 18th. Comic Relief 3. <laughs>